Despite day two of multiple rain delays at Pepsi's Rock the South event in Coleman County today, the event still drew in thousands of people. CBS 42 News reporter Marina Bach has more on how organizers are adapting to the weather and the pandemic this year. Organizers sharing with us that ground workers have been out since early this morning, laying down gravel throughout the park, trying to prevent these muddy grounds, as well as restocking all sanitization units to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Rock the South. The two-day country festival drew in around 30,000 people. They had a concert last night. Luke Combs ended it. Very fun, but they were in rain delay. Very muddy. Um, <laughs> but had a good time. Rain or shine performers still hit the stage, but organizers were having to work overtime to get the grounds back in order. And get gravel down to um, make sure that the mud wasn't a big issue and make sure that, again, everybody has the experience that we know that you want and we love to provide you at Pepsi Rock the South. Weather wasn't the only uphill battle for organizers. They are also having to deal with COVID-19 concerns. Dialed back by 75% um, with ticket sales due to, we didn't want to just overload everyone. We wanted to be very conscientious about how many folks, how many bodies we have technically, and made our festival site 30% larger so that we could also accommodate COVID restrictions and encouragements from the government. Concert goers say they're doing their part and staying socially distanced from others when possible. We're just staying in our little group. I mean, like we're not mingling, mingling, just kind of staying just with our group per se. Uh, we're just staying with our friend group. We're not really going out and, you know, meeting new people. We're just sticking together, practicing social distancing, and just, you know, just staying all in one group. The last performer tonight will be Miranda Lammer to hit the stage, and everything should be wrapped up here at the festival by 1130 tonight. In Coleman, Marina Bach, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.